Ever wondered how renewable energy commercializes? Over the past decade, the growth of renewable energy has surpassed all expectations. Today, renewable energy technologies such as wind and solar can compete on market terms with gas and coal without government subsidies. Unlike conventional power plants, renewable power generation is dependent on the weather. This means that the income from renewables will vary over time. To secure a steady revenue stream and bring the produced power to the market, renewable owners enter into a power purchase agreement, a PPA. A power purchase agreement is a commercial contract between a producer and a buyer of power. To take a basic example, let's consider a farmer who wants to purchase a new field. To obtain funding from the bank, the farmer needs to provide insurance that he can sell his crop and service his debt. Similarly, if you want to finance a new wind power, you need to provide insurance that you can sell the produced power and will receive a steady income. And that's what the PPA does. The renewable owner has access to the market, reduces uncertainty and can engage with lenders to finance this project. In general, a renewable project is exposed to three kinds of commercial risks. First, let's take a look at the price risk. Since power prices varies as a result of supply and demand, renewable owners are exposed to fluctuating prices in the market. In the past, renewable owners could rely on government subsidies to make up for fluctuating prices. However, as renewables are becoming increasingly competitive, subsidies are being phased out. Price is therefore a major component of the PPA. Second is the volume risk. Just like farmers, renewable owners are exposed to variable production output depending on the weather. This is called the volume risk. One year, the farmer might produce 20 tons of corn and the next he might only produce 15 because of a heat wave or rainy harvest season. In the same way, the owner of a wind park is dependent on how much the wind blows during a given year. And finally, the balancing risk. Since the production and the consumption of power always needs to be in balance, renewable owners have an obligation to forecast and balance their production on an hourly basis. If the actual production deviates from the forecast, the renewable owners are charged with a penalty and this is called a balancing responsibility. A power purchase agreement can be structured so it covers one or more of these commercial risks. Investors in renewable energy can gain protection against adverse price developments, varying production output and daily balancing. In that sense, a PPA is similar to an insurance policy. It allows the renewable owners to focus on producing power without having to worry about market fluctuation or weather variability. While renewable owners can decide to enter into a PPA with a power trader such as Damsky Commodities to gain access to markets and outsource commercial risks. At the end of the day, it comes down to how much risk the investor is willing to take for this project. Indeed, in recent years, the demand for PPAs has grown tremendously and a number of businesses are now starting to request renewable energy for economic and sustainability reasons. For instance, there is a strong interest from large companies to enter into PPAs and source their power directly from renewable assets. This is called the corporate PPA. Well, as an energy trading company, Dansko Commodities specializes in managing the risks involved in volatile energy markets. We buy, sell, move energy across borders in more than 35 countries 24 hours a day, all year round. We rely on in-house meteorologists, market analysts and advanced forecasting models. Renewable owners can turn to us for help optimizing the value of their assets and manage market risks. 
In other words, we help renewable owners compete on market terms and make renewable investments secure and viable, supporting the transition towards a low-carbon world.